Looking for a way to get healthy? The Chef You and I program has the answer. Catherine Raker and chefs from around the nation will teach even the most inexperienced how to cook. Come into their kitchen and watch them take ordinary foods with loads of calories and fat and turn those foods into healthier dishes. You will be the first to get tips and ideas on foods that are easy to prepare. Now let's join Catherine and today's chef and learn how to make today's recipes. Hi, this is Catherine Raker of The Chef You and I, and I'm welcoming my favorite buddy from the Philippines, Marie Dunaway. And we are going to do a typical Christmas or Christmas Eve dinner. Oh, uh, well, I would say Christmas Eve dinner because, Christmas um, Eve dinner. because we're going to have something hot, something cold, and something sweet as usual. Okay, that's great. And I see you brought us warm chestnuts. I'm so excited about this. I yeah, had, chestnuts. It's, a, it's the first time I've ever hit a chestnut. Oh, you've never had one? No. Okay, because when I read about chestnuts, yeah. I read that people in New York City are they, familiar with this. Yeah. But of course, when I went there in the spring, they don't have it. They said they sell it on the streets. Yes. Freshly uh, roasted. Right. But when I was growing up, I see them being roasted not in an open fire, but in a walk, being uh, a walk? tossed about in okay, Chinatown. Okay, so you need to see what it looks like. It's yeah. right here. It's like a Chinese uh, yeah, origin. It's really nice. I know. I'll you know what? Mm -hmm. They're almost like, do you know what they remind me of? Sweet potatoes. Yeah, they have that consistency. Actually, I roasted I them these. three hours ago. So it's best to eat them fresh. Fresh? Fresh from the oven. Okay. But um, the thing is, I brought it in because, you know, I thought I should try making it next time. But this is one of the traditional Filipino dishes, uh, dishes that we have. Right. Like Christmas time, everybody uh, wants to get warmer because it gets cold in the Philippines. Like, it does? Yeah, like 50 degrees. 50? 50. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fire and these, these, <laughs> these are delicious, actually. Yeah. I really, really, really like them. Yeah. Are you going to hand one? Oh, I already had some earlier. Yeah. yeah some earlier? Yeah, so I'll, I'll put these over here. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay, they're delicious. Okay. But what are we going to do first? We have this beautiful meat, mm -hmm. but what are you going to talk about well, first? Well, I just want to talk about, okay. like, I thought maybe when I was cooking this, I really got hungry. So I would suggest while, you're, while you prepare this dish. This, this marinated? Just snack. Don't forget to snack because I got hungry while I was making it. And what I do when I snack is I snack on cheese and crackers and fruit. Cheese, crackers, and fruit. And mm. I made you something really nice. I made you a shrimp dip. Yeah, I saw that. It was really good. Yeah, you liked thank that. You. Yeah. So what do we do? We're, we're going to marinate this first. So what do we need to do first? Okay. Well, we are going to um, prepare our main meal, which is the Filipino beef stew. Okay. Okay. What we have here is about two pounds of beef, and some of them are actually goat meat. We don't know which one is which. Actually, the one with the skin, the one in, in right. square cut. Those are goat meat. Yeah, I found them at the Asian market l yesterday. You did? Yeah. Wow. Because traditionally um, in Philippines, when um, it's not just on Christmas time, but whenever there's a party or a big right. dinner, we have our own beef stew. Unlike the American beef stew, ours is spicier. Spicier, okay. And we even use goat sometimes. Ooh, yeah. that's great. But goat could be expensive and hard to find, so most Philippines just use beef. Let me ask you a question. We're going to marinate this with mm -hmm. what? Well, actually, very basic. It's, it's in your kitchen. Okay, so you want me to read off the ingredients? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we have is two pounds of beef and goat meat cut into serving sizes, which you see here, mm -hmm. a quarter cup of vinegar. But, or more. Or more. Because so I want to cover vinegar. it. This, this, is the one. this, oh, is this the, one. This is the this is the white vinegar. Yeah, I use I use white vinegar. And how much do you want? I just saturate it. Even though the recipes usually call for right. one for it, I I cover it. You cover it. Okay. And I could also use um, some of the vinegars. They would have the spices at the bottom. Right. If you want to make it spicy, go ahead and use that. They would have the cayenne peppers and all right. that in there. So okay. you want ten peppercorns or and two cloves of crushed garlic. Okay. Well. Yeah, I have the peppercorn, and oh, they want it crushed this time. Usually some recipes, they just want to leave you with the whole peppercorns, but I don't like biting into the... No, I didn't either. Yeah, it was hard to floss. So, I mean, it's your recipe. You could put as much as you want on it. All right, so that's the peppercorn. Mm -hmm. And then you have two cloves of garlic crushed. Or how many you want? 
I don't care. You know I don't eat garlic, so what the heck? Okay, me, I love garlic. I know you do. My kids love garlic, so it's... Let's go for it. Garlic. So, and I got lots of garlic, so we could put more if so you want, but I'll just use... So, actually, what I'm going to do... Two. All right, is I'm going to crush it first. Is yeah, that all right? You could use that hammer. Mm -hmm. And as you see, we have gloves on today. Yeah. Right? Because I don't eat garlic because I'm allergic to it. So this is the easiest way for me to work with garlic, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So we'll put that right there. Okay, and I have a garlic press, or you can chop it up, right? Oh, there's another right. one. I would rather crush it because I don't like peeling garlic either. It's messy. Yeah. I, and I don't like chopping onions either. And uh, So you're not into that, huh? Yeah, they stay in your hands. So what you can do now is we can actually put this into the, a garlic press, right? Mm-hmm. There's the garlic mm -hmm. press right there. Just put it all in there. If you want to put get some juice in there. I do? Yeah. Okay. But, but we're going to throw the rest of them in there anyway. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. Right. So we're going to do this. Yeah, that's really... Okay. It is great. I yeah. love it. Yeah. A lot of work. Unfortunately. Yeah, I... What about this side? What's that for? Uh, we could do it that way too oh, if you okay. want to. Oh, okay. Okay. But I can also chop it up too. Right. So, let's do this. Let's chop it up. I can chop it up. It's pretty well chopped up here. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing about this is, is that we have something, if you just have, if you don't have gloves on, right? Yeah. What you can do, Maria, is you, we have a, a little piece in, that my mom, that my sister, not my sister, my daughter gave me for Christmas last, a couple years ago, right? Mm hmm And the nice thing is, it gets rid of garlic and onion smell. Aside from soap and uh, lemon. Of soap and lemon. lemon. Right, you don't even have to do any of that which is really cool. Oh so now what we're going to do is we're going to put this into oh. there, right? Right. Okay. And if you don't have garlic handy, just use garlic powder. It yeah, doesn't matter. Use garlic so powder. If Get you're allergic to garlic, don't put garlic on it. No, don't. Yeah. Because Catherine doesn't, so. Right. But we're doing this one. And, sh you know, by the magic of uh, of doing it ahead of time, we're going to have one without garlic tonight, right? For right, Catherine. right. Okay. And then don't forget, you know, the basic salt. Yeah, you want, actually, you it want says, a, a quarter cup of onion. Uh, oh, cooking yeah. Cooking oil. Can I have yeah. that onion? We, we could put the onion next. I just, okay. I don't. You know, I don't mince it because okay, that way. Okay, it's a marinade. Right, and if you're going to use it later, at least the people could take it out later yeah. if they don't want to eat it. Okay, so then what? <laughs> and then a little salt, or well, suit to taste. It says there, well, most uh, recipes would say sea salt suit to taste. So that's what yeah. I'm going to do, and I have sea salt. And I love sea salt. It's really good for you, actually. It's what we use anyway. Okay. It's basic. So you need a quarter cup of cooking oil. Do you have that? Right, but um, you know what? The cooking oil, we'll use that to fry it. Okay, all right. But... We could use olive oil to marinate it with just oil, a little oil. bit. Yeah, yeah. Go right ahead. Do you want to use that? Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. I, I mean, love olive oil. Yeah, it's, it must be the right. healthiest oil there. Right. It's just so extra virgin. It's extra virgin olive oil. Okay. So okay. now, and you put the vinegar in. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to cover it and put it in the refrigerator. Right. Is there anything else you want to put it in there? I mean, anything goes, right? Uh, how about a bay leaf? A bay just, leaf just would be one. really good. Do you want and anything the, else? How about a little cooking wine. Cooking wine? Chinese right. cooking wine. Right. Go for that. Okay. Some people would put sherry on it, but I don't have sherry at home. But I have Chinese cooking wine, so we'll Good. use that. Anything what, else? Uh, how about a little um, s uh, savory soy sauce? Oh, that looks good. Yeah. All okay. Right, what so else could we... Maybe, I don't know. Oh, I guess that's it for now. <laughs> that for oh, now. that's good to having a... Oh, your glove on, you could just mix I it with your hand. I could just do it easily. So now we're going to marinate this for a couple of hours. And are you going to show us how to cook it? Yes. You just cook it on top of the stove or what? Yes. Yes. So we're going to take, after we marinate it, we're going to take it and we're going to fix the rest of it. Okay? Yeah. So we'll be right back after these important messages. We're back on the chef, you and I, with Marie Dunaway and this Filipino. Uh, 
right before Christmas uh, type. Yeah, well, this is all year round, really. All year round. Yeah, this but is a this beef is stew. Special. This is yeah. a beef stew that we're so excited about. All right. Okay, so I need to have a quarter cup of olive oil. Well, how about just a regular oil? Because oh, regular oil is fine. Yeah, any kind of oil you want. I mean, you, know, you could use coconut oil if you want. But is it, that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah. let's put that there. Right. Now we're going to heat that up a little bit, and mm -hmm. then what we're going to do is take the beef and fry them. And fry them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need this cover. So can you hold this little tusty drum? Yeah, right. <laughs> so I'm going to take this. Now this is the goat, right? Right. A little skin there. All right. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. wow. Fr fry them until brown on both sides, but I won't fry it too long. I don't want it to be tough either. No, you don't want it to be tough. Now, how long does it take to make this stew all together? I, I mean, I guess counting the marinating time, maybe three hours. Yeah. But for me, I had all day, so I, I just... You did um, it in a slow cooker. I did it in a slow cooker. Right. Because the potatoes and the carrots would take more time, actually. Some people would even um, use the pressure cooker to tenderize the beef right. and the goat, right. the goat meat. All right. If you want, you could go ahead and fry the onions as well. Okay. Some recipes would call for them to be fried separately, but the thing is you don't want to crowd them too much, and that way they don't steam off each other. And yeah, they look good. Right. I love this little new uh, wok. Well, wok or what or you call skillet. It? Yeah. Skillet. Yeah, you could do everything on it. Yeah. You only wash one pot, which is right, which skillet. is great. Yeah. And more and more people are doing that. Mm -hmm. You and know, then you don't need the you don't the need bay leaf, the leaf anymore. Bay leaf anymore. But I would save the marinade. We're saving the marinade. Yeah, we'll dump that in as part of the yeah because the sauce. That's, that's really good for the sauce. Yeah, that's okay. A, yeah. So let me should I turn it up a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fry it up. Right up. Yeah. And then while cooking that, we could get the veggies ready. Okay, let's do that. I'll put this aside we for don't a even few minutes. Cover okay. it. Yeah, we don't even need to cover it because it's not going to splash too much. Right. So I'll just put this back. So these here. are ready to go, right? Right. So I just potatoes. need to put them in a bowl. Yeah, right? we need the potatoes ready. Right. And we got bell peppers. Okay. If you want to make it colorful, buy all the colorful. And they're sweet, by the way. These That's are sweet good. peppers. That's good. So I'm going to put the potatoes in here. Mm hmm. I'm going to put the potatoes in here since we've already cut them up. Right. And I turned that up. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be great. Right. If you so want to if you want to fry the potatoes ahead of time, you could do that too. I could do that too. Yeah, but I just You just said, put it in one pot. It tastes great that right. way. Right. All right. If I'm it's not all the juice. Yeah, if you got all day, you could cook this in the morning, keep right. it in a crock pot, you know. Okay. So, we've got that on, right? Mm -hmm. That's doing all right. Yeah. Do you ever cover it? No. Okay. Because I, I, right, I, so wanna, I want do. it to steam up. Okay, so you want me to cut the rest of this for yeah, you? Yeah, might okay. as well, yeah. I right. pre-cut the rest. And this one, you could add this for color. Right. So this one. You That's good. Mm -hmm. so and you could snack on the rest. So tell us it's about... Sweet. The sweet, I know they're wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, I love peppers. They're mm -hmm. so good. I can't Healthy. wait to go... I have to tell you that um, the other day, I talked to somebody from the Philippines because of my computer mm -hmm. and he was telling I was telling him about our cooking show and you coming on it so he can't wait to watch it oh so I gave him the name of the show mm -hmm. so you want this one too yeah okay see I took off the seeds already in the stem yeah that's good so anyhow he was really excited and he said I was trying to remember some of the pudding or the it's like flan so what is it that we made that was like flan Oh, the leche flan. Leche flan. Yeah, right. he would know that. Yeah, leche he knew flan. That. Yeah. He he mentioned that on the show. Is he excited about Christmas? Oh yeah, totally. He still lives in Philippines. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, we're excited about Christmas. I mean, yeah. We don't celebrate Christmas really till December sixteenth. You know how we we are very religious over there, very Catholic, and yeah. they have a tradition there. Okay, tell me about it. Like nine days before Christmas, right. we would have the dawn mass, the early morning mass. A around, novena mass? Yeah, it's a novena. Nine days before Christmas for nine consecutive days, we go to the 4 a.m. mass. We wake up early. Wow, that's an early mass. Buddy. Go to mass. Okay, what else do you want me to chop up? The potatoes. Oh. I did. And the carrots. The carrots. Yeah. I can't wait. Just bite size. I got the, bite ba size. I got the baby carrots. It's so easier. So do you want them like this? 
No, more like more like that. Like a beef stew. Like what you would cook your American beef stew. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Although they're harder to cook. I mean, they're, they take longer to cook. So if you, you want know, it thinner. You know, I yeah. really like carrots. They're so good mm -hmm. when in a stew and soup. Mm -hmm. um, I love them, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. Okay. Ca carrot sticks are, are easy to... Right. Um, to um, to snack on, you just put it in so a bag. So when do you actually open your gifts up uh, in the Philippines? After the Christmas Eve mass. After the like Christmas like when we come Eve. home from the Christmas Eve mass. Uh huh. That's what, what time I look is that forward. Usually? to. Well, we go to maybe the ten o'clock or ten thirty or eleven o'clock yeah. at night. So we call that the midnight mass, actually. Right? You go, yeah, but we call it Misa de Gallo, which means uh, the mass of the rooster. The mass of the rooster. Because the rooster. I can understand yeah. that. One. I don't know. The rooster crows all day anyway, not yeah, just in the truth. morning. But um, but anyway, Christmas Eve, when we come back from church, right. then we would sit down for a big de a, a meal, big, right. meal. Uh, big meal. It's called um, Noche Buena, which is good night. Oh, Noche and, Buena. Yeah, and then my mom would cook all these. She stays up and cooks all this, right? Well, she cooks it all the yeah. day of. The day of. And keep it warm till, till we all come Christmas back. Do you put your Christmas tree? Now, in yeah. Germany, they put it up the day... Oh, Before just, yeah. Christmas. They wait that long. Huh? They wait that long. Well, we wait till December 16th. Yeah, but th what they do is they get a fresh Christmas tree. Oh, uh, yeah. And they put it up on Christmas Eve, the day of Christmas Eve. That's where the Christmas tree came from anyway, right? Yeah, yeah right. Germany. Yeah. yeah, Germany. Yeah. Then we so, put up our own manger. The, yeah. Um, the, the crib, the uh -huh. nativity scene. Right. Yeah, we have that. It's wow. very um, religious based oh, on Christmas. Oh, I can smell this. This is, smells so good. I can't believe it. Right. Really you wonderful. could add a little bit more pepper if you want to, yeah. to put more spice on it, but it's really marinated okay, well. So, there. so when, how long do we do this, and then we add everything else till it turns brown? Sure, sure. So you might want to, yeah. Right. When when we're ready, we could take a break first, and yeah. um, we could take a break and first and then. snack a little bit. Okay, we're gonna take a break, and we'll be right back on the chef you and I with Marie Dunaway and a pre-Christmas Eve. Mail. Okay. Um, we're back on the chef, you and I, with Marie Dunaway, and you know the meat's really brown now. Right. And what I'd like to do, if you don't mind, is to start putting the vegetables in. Yeah, sure. Can I do that? Yeah. If okay. if the meat is uh, taking too long to brown, go ahead and dump the extra juice out of it. Which we did. Right, and you want to add the uh, the veggies that would take longer to cook, like right. the, um, the carrots and the potatoes. Potatoes, okay. Yeah, I would, I would add the peas last. I would too. Yeah. Okay, so we cut those up really nice. Mm -hmm. This looks really beautiful, right. actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now what we're going to do is, are you going to add... We've already got the onion in there. We, mm -hmm. we need a half a cup of tomato sauce. Right. Um, and you know what? I don't follow the recipe sometimes. Okay, so I just in there. Sometimes I just improvise because right. I want more sauce. My husband, he likes more sauce. My kids, they want more sauce, more right. rice. I can't even imagine not actually um, putting more sauce into it, actually. Right. All right? Right. And so then... We want to show you this. We're going to move this. Hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. We're going to move this so we can see it on camera. And so you can see it, so the camera can see it. Mm -hmm. Right, now we're going to add to this the... Your, your beef. Your beef stock. One can of beef stock. Right? Or more if you want. Or, more. or you know, if you don't have uh, the handy can, just right. uh, get the beef bouillon and right. so one are cup, you gonna, one right. water. So are you going to add the liver... Are, are you going to add the piece next or what? I'll just wait till like. I uh, have all the veggies cook. Okay, I so just want to add it last before I serve it. But if you want, I have too many peas here. Look at this. I could put one now. Yeah, put one in Isn't there. Isn't that now. colorful? Yeah, so, that is colorful. It's a color of Christmas. Right. Now, so <laughs> when do you add the liver spread? I'll add it uh, later. I mean, you know, we, what we're going to do, we're going to let it boil. Okay. And simmer and right. cook. And we're going to add the liver spread, their liver spread. And we're to going to thicken it. To thicken it. Right. And then we're going to add the hot sauce. Right. Just a dash. Okay. Actually, we could add it now. Right. Uh -huh. And then the liver spread, I just, I, that was not in the original recipe, but um, 
I thought it maybe fit and fit, right? I mean it's a good idea to put it okay. on be All right. because I like liver spread this makes a good uh, sandwich um, sandwich filling okay so just put that here. yeah let's just put that in there yeah and it's gonna dissolve and It'll thicken dissolve this on. and thicken yeah and okay. well it's it's also spicy so All right it's good. smells good mm -hmm. okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a top on it we'll be right back and in a little while, we'll be able to actually show the stew, right? Right, the right. finished product. The finished product. We'll be right back on The Chef, You and I. We're back on The Chef, You and I with Marie Dunaway, my chef of the day, which I love. And we have finished the beef stew. The beef stew. The calderetta. The calderetta. And yeah. you want to get a, we want to get the camera to take a really cool picture. This is beautiful. Right? So what we're going to do is we're going to separate the rice. Or you don't mix it together, do you? No, oh, no, okay. I wouldn't. Uh, so we're going to use that, this. Yeah. We're going to do this. Yeah. And this is just beautiful. Look at those vegetables. It's so rich, isn't it, and thick? Oh, my gosh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. I love it. And I'm going to show it in a minute. Yeah. Now, is there a goat in this one? Yes. Good. Because you're taking one home mm -hmm. because you know that I Actually, you could have all of that. Or it right. doesn't matter because right. um, all of them, none of them have, the one that we cook have garlic. garlic. Oh, it. that's the one I'm going to take home then. That's this the is one. all yours. This one doesn't have the garlic. I know. It doesn't have the garlic, actually. You know they have a calderetta mix now? They do. I know. Like when I first started to learn how to cook this. Yeah. I just go to the store and buy the mix. That's easy. That's so easy. But then again, when I cook it from scratch, well, it tastes right. better. I know. It, ta it always tastes better when you do it from scratch. Without you the know that? garlic and all that sugar. You put sugar right. in this. Yeah, they put sugar in it. But too. we have a lot at home. We okay. keep them for emergency. So we're going we're yeah. gonna to take this pot and we're going to put it over oh, okay. there. Okay. Well, I don't have this, enough room there. Which, I didn't mean to do oh. that. Okay. Oh, oh it's, not, it's not that hot. It's okay, not that hot. Right. Yeah. So we want to take a picture of this. Hold on a minute. Um, and then the rice, I cooked it earlier. You cooked it earlier. Yeah, because so. you cannot eat this without rice. And here's this. This is so beautiful. And I'm going to take this. Mm -hmm. And let's wipe this off right Lots now. Lots of oh, rice. Well, I was going to do that. Okay. Oh, I messed it up. All right. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rice. Mm -hmm. Right? I got a right. little stuff on it, but that's right. all right. Yeah. Nobody will matter, right? Right, because it's going to go there anyway. Yeah, it is going to go there right. anyway. I can't wait to try this. Yeah, this is going to last until... I don't, I don't know. Till, not till Christmas, but um, I'm going to bring some to work tomorrow. That's good. Yeah, they would like that. Right. We've got a, what do I have? We have a Christmas party next week, and we have our, his Christmas party this week. Oh, yeah. So look at that. That's steaming rice. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Do you cook everything in this, or do you do it in a rice cooker? A rice cooker. I just didn't bring it. It's too oh, heavy. Oh, you didn't bring it. It's too yeah. heavy. It's too, too heavy. All right. So. But, oh, I have a tip. I What's learned it from my friend. What? How to keep your rice from getting too tough and sticking. What? You know, when you were, after the rice is cooked. Right. Transfer it as soon as possible to a container. Like this. Right. And that right. way it doesn't dry up in the rice cooker. But as you transfer it, separate them. Right. Right. And that's one way to keep it fresh. And then right. microwave it in the and moist that's paper gorgeous. towel. You that's know? gorgeous. Yeah. So we're yeah. going to have this to eat in a few minutes. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to make a snack. As yeah, well. let's snack for now. Are you let's hungry? Let's do this here. I'm going to put this over and then I'm going to take a little break and we'll be right back. Okay. We're back on The Chef You and I with Marie Dunaway and Catherine Raker. And what are you going to show us now? This is a snack you would naturally eat, right? Yeah, it's so, sort of like an appetizer or any time snack whenever you get hungry well waiting for mom to finish right. so let's cooking, the, you know. These are Asian pears. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, we could, um, we have... Um, we're very close to uh, other countries such as Hong Kong, and mm -hmm. whenever my whenever somebody comes back from Hong Kong, like my mom, she would bring home all these pears. And don't you love them? Yeah, and they're then, so good. Yeah, but I'm sure they sell it now in oh, you can get certain these. groceries, right. you know. You can but get these in it's really crunchy and uh, healthy for you. So here's the other one, right? Or is that mine and yours together? And then we're gonna put the cheeses on here. This is too big for me. <laughs> That's too big for me, too. But isn't so it pretty? Just, yeah, it's pretty. So let's pretty. just show it. It's got a tag on it. it still. I have to take it off. Yeah, show sure. okay. it. That's really pretty. So this is the pear that you would have. It's called right? Yeah Pear. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut it in half again, yeah. if you don't mind. You don't even have to peel it. You don't have to peel it. Right. But we'll just do it in slices, mm -hmm. okay? 
All right, and that would be a really nice little snack. Okay. Before, while you're waiting for all this stuff to cook. Right. Because with stew, it takes a little while, right? I know, and that, okay, thanks for so the wine, really though. Pretty. You know what's good with wine always? is cheese and Cheese crackers. and crackers. So I brought my favorite crackers. And what kind are they? Let's show them. These are like butter flakes. They're called Sky Flakes. Well, that's the brand, really. That's the brand. Yeah, but it's made of a lot of butter. A lot of butter? I mean, oh, I can't wait to... Not Americans that. like it. Look at that. It's kind of burnt there. Why? What's wrong with that? I think that's a factory defect. But Who cares? Oh, that, yeah, that's the thing. I I ate this when I was growing up. Sometimes it's all I eat for a snack. It's, They're great. I know. And you know what's good with that is your favorite cheese. Okay, let's see the cheese. I've shown this before. You have? Go it's ahead. It's called queso de bola. Queso de bola. It's not really red cheese. That's You know, that's the wax, right? right. But right. it's Edom. Edom cheese. From Holland. Edom. Right. Look how rich that is. That is beautiful. I mean, do you, later, yeah. Do you like my favorite kind of cheese, which is? Gouda. Gouda, no. Oh. Gouda. Gouda. My husband likes Gouda. I love Gouda. I love cheeses. There isn't any kind of cheese I don't like. Oh, I know. One that smells a lot. Oh, the the smelly cheese. Uh, it's called... Uh, um, don't I, worry about it. I forgot. Anyway, we're going to use this later on. Okay. When I cook my rice cake. But in the meantime, oh, there's a little wax in there. Oh, don't worry about it. Please, in the meantime, enjoy the cheese and... Uh, and what's that right here? Oh, I found this. This is my daughter's favorite. It's a mung bean... Uh, I don't know the, the English for it. It's called hopia. Okay. It's, for, it's a mung bean cake. It's okay. like, a, like a mung bean moon cake. Mm -hmm. I still have to learn how to make this, but you know what? You go to any Asian store and they have it in different varieties. Let me try. They have it with purple yam. They have it in. What's with a yam thing? It's like a potato. Oh, it's good. Sweet potato. Yeah. It's like a sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Yeah. Really I have tasty. A, I have a co worker who's Chinese and he said his mom makes this and he calls it by another Chinese name, which I cannot repeat. That's cause delicious. Because I cannot remember. But look at that. Let's see the camera. Look at look that. Look at that. That's it's beautiful. very rich in there, isn't very it? Very rich. Yeah, it's made of, it's got flour, sugar, eggs in it. It's beautiful. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. It's a nice taste to it. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, my dad likes um, hopia and all that. But yeah. they come in different varieties. Some of them come square. Some of them yeah. are, are colored. I mean, my, my son and daughter, they fight over these. So if I buy some from the market, I make sure I have enough at home. Well, you know, I have to tell you that I, brie is one of my favorites. There you go, brie. Brie. Yeah. I love brie. It's really, really good. And it's, my husband doesn't like it, so I get to eat it all the time. Mm-hmm. So what's the next thing that we're going to do before we sit down with everything? Okay, next thing we're going to do is um, my favorite snack. Which is? It's called the whole. The whole? It's a soybean tapioca beverage. Ooh, I can't yeah. wait to try yeah. it. It's, a, it's like a breakfast thing. Something, you, a breakfast thing? something you're going to eat when you wake up. The morning of Christmas. Really? Yeah, because you already open your. We already opened our presents the night before, so we could stay in and we don't have to go to a morning mass because we already went the night before. Right, so when we wake up, we're gonna eat the whole. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So we'll be right back on Catherine Raker's uh, The Chef You and I, and don't forget to go to our website at thechefyouandi.com, and you can also look at us on YouTube on Catherine Raker YouTube as well. So we'll be right back after these important messages. Oh, I forgot to say, don't forget to go to tv2go.net, and you can download it on your computer, mm, and mm -hmm. we're on the cooking channel there. We're in 37 countries. You, that's nice. What's, that the, awesome? what's the food network again? In the again? Philippines. Yeah, it's um, a foodie? It's, cooking, it's called the Cooking Lifestyles Cooking. Okay, good. We'll yeah. be right back. Okay.